So the really big core video is still being worked on and Halloween is just around the corner. So you know what that means, it's time to get sidetracked with a Halloween special. Or it would be one, but I have like next to no Halloween decorations around here. But uh, thankfully I heard of this amazing website where you can find Halloween themed Nintendo merchandise for practically free. So uh, let's go check it out. Alright, let's back up a bit. Child-oriented content on the internet has always been a fairly fascinating subject to examine. Back in the early days of the World Wide Web, discovering new content might just mean hearing about interesting websites from others on the playground, or clicking on mysterious links in online chat rooms and message boards. Maybe you're smart enough to use a search engine, or you're just a big fan of different kid-friendly TV channels so you decide to visit their website and are suddenly opened up to a digital world with tons of games and activities. Nowadays, it almost feels like there's only two extremes when it comes to content for children. Either you're old enough to just get into whatever viral trend all the other kids are into, or you're way too young for the modern web so you just watch kids' cartoons on YouTube all day. Nope, we are not discussing that. I am not going to open this can of worms today. What I am going to talk about though is Nintendo. You know, one of the most family-friendly brands you can think of in the gaming space. And what better thing for a family-friendly brand to do than establish a section on the internet tailored just for kids. A lot of people tend to forget that Nintendo actually has an online space dedicated to child-friendly content called Play Nintendo. It's even in the navigation bar of their official website. So of course, as a college student with nothing better to do, why not give it a look just for the sake of it being a lesser-known part of Nintendo history? Well, first of all, this website is pretty colorful, which is par for the course. There are multiple ways to find posts on the site. For example, you can search posts by the characters they feature. Every one of your favorite Nintendo characters are here. There's Mario, Pikachu, Sheldon, Jibanyan, Esna, and Samus Aran, who's at the very bottom of the list. Ouch. Clicking on a character brings to a page that features content about them, from regular trailers and game announcements to pages containing other related activities. Also, what do these question blocks do? Oh! That actually caught me off guard. But there are multiple different animations that play when you click these, so that's a very neat touch. There isn't that much variety in terms of actual things to do. Most of it is just quizzes, polls, and puzzles. Like here, I can take this quiz to find a game that stars my inner Mario. Well, let's see, I like making friends and uh, yeah, helping them out and um, yeah, and uh, oh look, it recommended Super Mario Maker for the Nintendo 3D, oh, yeah, about that. Anyway, yeah, most of the polls and quizzes are of the generic BuzzFeed style type, but sometimes they do get a laugh out of me, and other times... What the? Fortunately, there is also the play section, which is finally something fitting this website's name, in which you get to partake in a handful of interactive activities. There's a Mario Maker style wallpaper creator, different tools that let you customize your photos with themed stamps, and a Captain Toad soundboard. <coughs> For actual minigames though, you have things like different matchup games, this simple spot the difference game for new Sup U Deluxe, Mario Stargazer, which is a minigame where you look around a night sky finding constellations, oh man that music please give us Galaxy Free Nintendo, and also this Captain Toad and Toadette drawing tutorial. Take a page and a pen, draw a big Now these aren't the most exciting things ever, obviously, but it's serviceable for a site for toddlers and children, possibly with their own 3DS and or Switch as well, so this is mostly just supplementary entertainment. We're kinda past those good old days when you just looked up random Mario Flash games. <coughs> Shameless plug. And Nintendo definitely knows that their target demographic most likely owns one of their systems because they have sections on the website dedicated to updates on their latest games and whatnot including trailers and screenshots. It's basically my first Nintendo news site. Oh yeah, there's also this section that's entirely dedicated to printables. Yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. 
Print out this box boy mood chart and you can attach a paperclip or a clothespin to your current mood. I'm feeling long today. Overall, this is a pretty tame site for kids. Still though, this might have actually been something that I would have gotten into at a very young age. I remember that I used to print random crap that I made in Microsoft Word or download it from sites like Disney all the time. And of course there's also a section for parents so the clueless mom can get an idea of how to do things like monitor their child's online activity, set up parental controls and all that jazz. It's just a safe, family-oriented online environment, which I guess is a rare sight considering the current state of the internet. But then again, I haven't really been actively seeking out sites with a demographic far below my age. Now you might say, no one cares about this, but talking about things that not many people talk about or even know about is kind of my thing. And this is a lesser known, unique portion of modern Nintendo. If it's spot on the Nintendo homepage and relatively low sub count on YouTube or any indication. Oh right, they have a YouTube channel, I almost forgot about that part. I heard they even had some original content there as well, so uh, let's take a look. <laughs> This is Expert Unboxing with Frizzy. I need some help! You know I might have to reconsider this whole Nintendo thing. <sighs> okay, let's start from the top. We have the Play Nintendo Show, which is basically if Nintendo had a kids TV show in the 90s, starring overly energetic hosts and a piranha plant named Izzy. It's about what you'd expect from that description. If you're looking for a great game to play this summer, like on the new Nintendo 2DS XL system, we've got you covered! I can do wacky effects too! Whoa! For some of the more tamer stuff, you have game shows where families compete with each other in different Switch games, yes, including 1-2 Switch, and this series of videos were Mario Reads fan mail. Hmm, well, I'm a lover of all the kingdoms in the game, and one of my favorites has to be the Cap Kingdom, since that is where I met my new friend, Cappy. <laughs> I kinda expected Mario speaking in full sentences to make me feel uncomfortable, but to be honest, I mean, listen to it, like Charles Martinet is a national treasure. You're amazing! I can't wait to read through all these letters. Okie dokie, keep sending them in. The channel itself hasn't been updated a lot lately, often just re-uploading trailers, but it's an interesting look into the really weird side of Nintendo of America. Oh, there's also this sideshow called Ask Izzy. I guess it's kind of similar to the Mario videos except with the piranha plant. Hello everyone, it's me, the originator. <laughs> I just found a really great comment and I wanted to share it with you. Brandon Dino says, can Izzy dab? I'll be honest, dude, dad. I have no idea what you're talking ab ab about. Choo! I'm done. That's it. I've hit my limit. Go look it up yourself. I don't care. I've seen enough for one Halloween. I don't care if I get paid to do this.